Today we're going to demonstrate an exercise used when working with dogs who are reactive. The game is called Engage, Disengage. Yes. The idea is that your dog engages with the trigger, in this example, another dog, by looking at it. Then your dog disengages by breaking his focus away from the other dog and looking at you instead. Let's break down how this works. Step one, let the dog view the trigger. Many dogs will naturally look at the trigger that generates a reaction in them, so this step is usually pretty easy. However, some dogs may avoid looking at an especially scary trigger. Encourage the dog to look at the trigger, even if it's just for a quick second. Step two, teach your dog to disengage. Next, you'll encourage your dog to disengage by breaking their gaze away from the trigger and looking at you instead. Step three, mark and reward. Once your dog breaks his focus on the trigger and looks away from it, mark the behavior with a clicker or a marker word like yes and reward with a treat. Remy, look at me. Yes. Remy and I use the focus command, look at me, which means I'm asking Remy to break focus and make eye contact with me. However, if you don't have a focus command nailed down, kissy noises work great too. Yes. The real goal here is just to get your dog used to breaking focus from the trigger. Any way you can help your dog do that, whether it's tossing a tennis ball, asking for a hand target, touch, yes, or making a kissy sound is absolutely fine. This exercise isn't about building a command. It's about counter conditioning your dog to his triggers. Don't be afraid to experiment. Some dogs do a lot better disengaging when they can perform a physical action, like lying down or playing tug. Step four, rinse and repeat. Practice this game regularly around triggers, encouraging your dog to look at the trigger and then disengage and refocus on you for a reward. Look at the dog. Look at me. Good boy. Do this over and over again until your dog voluntarily breaks focus when he sees triggers. After working on this exercise a lot, Remy will break his focus from other dogs without prompting from me, then look at me as if to say, well, I saw another dog. Don't I get a cookie now? Good job. Good boy, Rem. Good job, Remy. Good job, yeah. Good boy. What a good boy. This is exactly what we want. Your dog is learning how to ignore triggers and refocus on you through repetition. Yes. Good boy. All the while, you're continuing to establish yourself as an awesome human who brings joy to your dog, rather than fear or stress. Nice. Through the use of food rewards, you, your dog baby. is building positive associations with those previously scary triggers and also continuing to build positive associations with you. Working on a focus command. Working on a good focus command can be really helpful for reactivity. Good so let's boy. discuss how it's done. For a focus command, many owners choose a phrase like, look at me, or focus, or any other term can work too. To start with this command, take a treat and hold it right up to your eyes, encouraging your dog to look directly at you. When the dog makes eye contact, click and treat. Or if you're not using a clicker, use your marker word and give a treat. Yes. Eye contact isn't really natural for dogs, so be patient if your dog struggles with this. Practice the focus command yes. indoors for several days. When your dog has nailed down the in-house focus command, you can practice in your driveway or the backyard. After several days of that, you can start practicing on walks. Outdoor environments are 10 times more challenging for dogs than indoors. So if your dog is struggling, it's no problem. You just might need to practice more indoors or in familiar, less stimulating outdoor environments. Why does this exercise help reactive dogs? Reactive dogs will bark and lunge at other dogs, usually due to one of two reasons, fear or excitement. Fear-based reactivity is the most common, while dogs who are reactive due to excitement are referred to as frustrated greeters. Regardless of what kind of reactivity your dog has, you'll want to use a combination of desensitization and counter-conditioning to help your dog. Desensitization refers to the process of simply getting your dog used to being in the vicinity of other strange dogs so that it's no longer a novel experience. 
You'll want to desensitize your dog while also working on counter conditioning, which is the process of changing your dog's negative association with other dogs to a positive one. The engage disengage game teaches your dog that when they see a strange dog, they can look at you and get a treat. This is teaching your dog to associate other dogs with good things, not scary things, while also helping them stay under threshold by breaking their focus so that they aren't staring at the other dog and getting further and further aroused or amped up. Troubleshooting. If your dog is unable to break their focus on you, repeat the engage disengage exercise at a further distance. The closer you are to the trigger, the more difficult it will be for your dog to break his focus and look at you. Start out at a further distance where your dog can stay under a threshold. Still having trouble? Try higher value treats. Some triggers are extremely stimulating for certain dogs and having really special treats like freeze dried liver or rotisserie chicken will make it easier for the dog to break his focus on the trigger and refocus on you for that mouthwatering goodie. If the engage disengage game feels too complicated for you, that's fine. You can just start with more basic counter conditioning work. Take your dog to a place where they can see their trigger at a safe distance that's under threshold, aka a distance where they can remain calm and won't bark or lunge. Then just start feeding them treats. You can also just let your dog chill and click when he chooses to voluntarily look at you. It's never a bad idea to reward your dog for refocusing on you. Good job, bud. Yeah, good job. Or do some treat scatters. Your only goal in these situations is to help your dog associate other dogs with awesome good stuff so that the trigger is no longer scary, but instead something to celebrate. It's also smart to have a consistent environment when practicing reactivity work. Remy and I like to go to this park because it's not uncommon to see other dogs running around and playing nearby in fenced off spaces. When we first started coming to this park, we would come here when it was very quiet and just practice basic commands, touch, yes, tricks, crawl, and clicking for relaxation, looking for body language like a relaxed brow, loose ears, and soft eyes. This allowed the environment to be more familiar and less overwhelming on those occasions when we did see other dogs, increasing Remy's chances of success. I hope this demo video was helpful to all of you owners working on your dog's reactivity. This is the tried and true method most trainers use to work on reactivity. I know at first it can seem difficult to juggle a clicker, treats, and your dog while also staying alert to triggers and getting the timing right. Just keep practicing and I promise it gets much easier. The engage disengage exercise won't change your dog overnight, but if you practice this exercise consistently, you should see some progress within a few weeks to a month. Time and patience are really key here. I also want to stress that you and your dog are on the same team. If your dog isn't listening to you, they aren't being a brat. They just physically can't focus due to the overstimulating environment and the stress generated by the trigger. So don't get frustrated with them. Instead, just keep practicing in more familiar, less stimulating environments and at a greater distance. As a comparison, I like to think about when I stopped being afraid of the dark as a child. I didn't just wake up one day and say, hey, the dark isn't so scary. It took years of building up experiences where I witnessed firsthand that the dark wasn't dangerous or scary. Behavior modification isn't a one and done event. It's something that needs to be practiced and built up over time. We believe in you. You can do it. We'd also love to hear about your experience with the engage disengage exercise in the comments. Also make sure to check out some of the additional resources we have, like our full written guide to reactivity on the Canine of Mind website. We also have a nifty trigger tracker tool you can download for free. So make sure to grab that as well. Best of luck to you on your reactivity training journey.